For this reaction, we have a double displacement reaction. The copper and the sodium here, they're going to switch places. And with double displacement reactions, there's a little trick we can use when we have these polyatomic ions. We have the nitrate here, this NO3. It's a polyatomic ion. It stays together. You have a nitrate here and one here. So we count this as just one item. Same for the hydroxide. We have an OH here and an OH here. We're going to count it as just one item. That makes the balancing a whole lot easier. Let's try it. We have one copper. We have one nitrate times two, so two nitrates, one sodium, and one hydroxide. On the product side, we have the one copper, one nitrate, one sodium, and then one hydroxide times two. So we have two of these. Let's balance the nitrates first. We have two here, one here. Let's put a coefficient of two in front of the sodium nitrate. Now we have one nitrate times two. So that gives us two nitrates, one sodium times two, and we have two sodiums. Might as well balance the sodiums. I think that'll balance the hydroxides as well. We have two here and one here. Put a coefficient of two in front of the sodium hydroxide. We have one hydroxide times two. So those are balanced. And then one sodium times two. That gives us two. So the sodiums are balanced. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see how it helps. If you have a nitrate here, it stays together, and you have it here, count it as one item. Same for the hydroxide. You have it here and here. Makes the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuNO32 plus NaOH. That's copper 2 nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.